My name is Bianca Shoni Arroyo Crimis. I studied film animation in my undergrad at Concordia University, and also I just defended my thesis in Intermedia at Concordia University. When I was young and I first came here from Costa Rica, I became really infatuated with screens. I never owned a TV before, so I just wanted to almost transport myself back to the environment that I had been living in by watching nature documentaries. And slowly as I was watching these documentaries, I realized that the screen can be a powerful tool to kind of convey an environment that is inaccessible to me otherwise. So now as an artist, I use 3D animation to create virtual worlds, and also I use speculative storytelling in these virtual worlds to convey nature's place in our society, which I kind of imagine as being partly imaginary and also kind of this distant sort of like entity. I imagine nature in this way because I just think that despite all of us coming from the same place, even the word nature, we don't associate it with ourselves. All of the organisms that I create in these environments are very alien, and it's just sort of used as a way to embody that kind of alien otherness. The project that I'm going to show at the Grantham Foundation is a looping video piece called Last Species on Earth. It explores how humans genetically alter nature and viewers will find themselves looking at a world that's so altered that it looks like nothing we've ever seen before. It follows two last organisms that have been so genetically altered that essentially exist in incubation chambers and are used as ways to experience nature. My work is really inspired by Peter H. Kahn's book called Technological Nature. In his research, he examines how psychologically, if we respond to nature in the same way as the real thing, He's really inspired by Edward O. Wilson's idea of biophilia, which I'm also really inspired by, which is the idea that humans have a natural, innate compulsion to be with others of other species and of nature. It's just ingrained inside of us. So Peter H. Kahn uses this as a basis and he's trying to encapsulate that feeling of biophilia through his work and similarly, I'm trying to do the same thing and examine, but through an artistic lens, if people can react to these environments and feel anything and get anything from it in the possibility that one day we just are so devoid of nature that it's beyond repair.